Is this late 2008 Unibody MacBook Pro worth buying today in 2023? Watch the video to find out. So, as you can see, it's a 15 inch late 2008, the first generation Unibody. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM and has an Intel Core 2 Duo, which is not as fast as today's i7s, i5s, i3s. But it does have a GeForce 9400M, which is acceptable. Not anything really powerful, but it is running back on Catalina because I use the DOS Dude 1 patch to patch it up to Catalina. One really, really cool thing this 2008 MacBook Pro has going for it is the thing on the bottom. You may not notice it, but you may notice it if you've seen problems with MacBooks today. There's something on the bottom that's different, and it's a latch. As you can see as I'm pulling it out, there's a battery. You can swap it out if it, your battery dies like in the middle of the day and you just need to swap it out. And also, you, you can see there's the hard drive. The hard drive is way easier to replace on these ones compared to the other ones. Because the other ones, you're going to have to take off everything. I mean, like, everything. And just to take out the hard drive. Well, with these, these ones, it's way easier just to take out the hard drive instead of taking off the whole entire backplate. So, yeah, this is one thing that's really cool about this MacBook in particular. So there's two things about this computer that is not that great. So first of all, it does get very hot after a while. Even just going to Google Chrome or Safari, and just switching around tabs and stuff, it does get very hot after a while. And it's not very great if you're using it on your lap, like, you know, the name suggests laptop. Also, it does also not get that many apps anymore. Not the Catalina, not Catalina when I updated the Catalina, I use a DOS Dude 1 patcher, which uh, some people may not be able to do. It took me a little while and a lot of waiting with this uh, mechanical hard drive. But, yeah, it may be difficult for other parties to do. And with, it, there's nothing wrong with uh, El Capitan. It's more, it's getting to the point where it's too old for developers to really even care to support. It's like 20... 12 or something so yeah around that age or five or if this computer was made so yeah personally i would not recommend this machine i would recommend you get a 2012 you know body or even uh an older retina because at least those support uh what uh, this catalina natively and they will be way much faster they have i7s i5s and they most likely have some type of better storage, like 500 gigabytes. This one only has 300 gigabytes, which may not be good for users today. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.